Hello everyone, my name is Alan, I'm from Sober Lab, and today the first integration in our HOMA system will be the speed test. This one is one of the basic integration that you can do, but it's interesting for you to know how to create your own integration and how and then you can start to integrate others and other sensors or dispositives that you want. If you like the idea and want to learn a little bit more, we're gonna show, but first don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and let's see it. This first integration will be really basic, but at least we start to get to use with the idea for integration. First thing, you need to have a home assist installed. You can have installed in a Docker or in a Raspberry Pi. In my case, a Raspberry Pi. And if you follow my last video, you should have at least some ads installed for your home assistant. If you come here for supervision, I have the DocDNS, Marian database, and a proxy manager. Those edits only used if you want to have external access for your home system. Also, this one's only be important if you don't have any other device, right? Manage your proxy reverse, and if your router work with proxy reverse, and you can manage your port forwarding. If you cannot manage port forwarding your router, or this proxy reverse is not working, you're gonna have the zero to install. But anyway, you need to have uh, these ones only to access external for your network. But uh, these ones, Mosquito Broker and Visual Studio, you're gonna need to have for run a lot of integration. This Visual Studio, we're gonna need principally for add a new integration. So if I come here in Visual Studio, I already have already set up this one. I have automation and configuration. Here in configuration, that we're gonna add our integration. First, we're gonna understand what integration that we're gonna install. As I told, the first integration that we're gonna install is speedtest.net. This integration, it's a kind of a cloud pool. Okay, but you're gonna ask, what cloud pool, what it means? Okay, if I come here in classification of the internet, you have some kind of a classification. The first one, it's assume state. It means that you cannot get any information for that device. Then will be cloud pool. It means that they will pull all the information for the cloud, and that cloud push that will be push all the information for the cloud. It means that if you don't have connection for the network, these two clouding will not work at all. And that you have local pull and push. It means that all the data will be local for your network. Will be faster. This one will be more stable. Will be local. It means that you don't need any external access for get this information. Have this one in mind, now we come back for the speed test and we go back, we're gonna try to understand what they say. They say about the manual configuration, you go to the configuration and add this one, you can have integration and add integration speed test, but we're not gonna add for this step. We're gonna add a little bit different. If you go down a little bit, they say about the integration sensor, where they say that you can integrate with a pin, you can integrate with a download and upload sensor. The pin will be measured in milliseconds, the download speed will be me megabytes per second, and the upload will be megabytes per second as well. You have a service called speedtest.net, and that's one of our example for integration, how they do, but not to use this example, I will show why. They remember you. If you have a Raspberry Pi 3 Plus, the maximum throughput that you have is uh, 300 megabytes per second. It means that your provider offer you one gigabyte of network, you only be able to measure 300 megabytes, nothing else. Other thing that they say that if you're gonna run this once, they can affect the memory of your device. As well, if you have a bandwidth cap that you have a limit for, I don't know, one terabyte of uh, download per month, or one terabyte of traffic every month, and you run this one every five minutes or have 30 minutes, you're gonna consume this cap quite fast. As well, if you're playing some online game or doing some stream or watch some Netflix, this one could affect your user experience. So if in this case, try to avoid it. But in our case, we're not worried about it. So we come back in our home system and in the tab for configuration, we're gonna add this new scene. The, the configuration that we're gonna use will be speed test two dots. This count interval that I want, I want in minutes, and it will be 30 minutes. If I come here and remove these first two dots, now we're gonna want to define which data that I want to collect. 
I want to define the monitor conditions and I want to have pink. I want to have uh, download and I want and I want to have upload. In this case, you collect the ping, download and upload. Have this one done and everything checked. I can come here and close this configuration, come here in configuration, go down in a server control. Here I check the configuration. If the appear configuration valid, it means that I configure it correctly. If I appear invalid, they will show which kind of error that you have and that you can go there and fix. Once that I check the configuration, everything's okay, I can come here and put restart. You want to restart? Yes. Then I restart the home assistant, wait some minutes until they restart the system. Could be a little bit longer time or short time, depending on how many applications that you have and which revision of Raspberry Pi that you're using. If revision 4 will be a little bit faster, if it's 3 or 3 plus will be a little bit slower. But let's wait. Once that hey start, they already show this page for me. If I come here in these three arms, hit the dashboard and add a new card, I can come here and select my speed test. If I come here entire or a glance, I can have all my data for my speed test. I can come here and save. Now I add a new card. The new card that I have, it's a speed test pin, speed test and speed test upload. So if I come here in the pin, they show my data. First pin that they give me it was 8 milliseconds. After now, they are giving 11 milliseconds. It means that in each half hour they will test, and each time that will test, we'll be recording the data. And along for the time, you're gonna have a, a long history of data, each half hour data. This way, you can monitor if your network provider is giving the correct speed that they promise you. In this video, I give some base for how to do uh, the first integration. If you like this video, give your like. If you don't like, leave your dislike. Subscribe for the channel. See you next time.